three in Saddlecloth order with number one trying to go back to back here, Rich, and two runs. His preparation have been fantastic. Oh, look, he's been good. He's just, uh, he's a credit to Chris and all those teams. He, he just keeps backing up. He's a seven year old now, and 1.1 million he's won. He's been honest. He looks great. His two runs back have been on services that he doesn't really appreciate too heavy services. He hasn't liked them at all. He gets a firmer track here this afternoon. He might just be ready to explode again this point. Well, Bagman was uh, tackling easier races in Victoria, getting the job done, and then came around at a big price to run into the money in the Chelmsford. Yeah, look, they were easy races, and, and I think that's the key you hit. Um, and he was just rock-hard fit, and that was why I think he ran so well the other day in the Chelmsford. He was just rock-hard, and he had the fitness edge on a few others. Look, he's honest. Um, I got him as a place chance here, but he, he'll... The mile and a half in a, in a metro will be his race. Third up today, number three, Janoub, has been well supported uh, in the early markets. Of course, plat entirely platinum and multilateral came out, uh, so there will be some deductions. Well, look, he gets back on a firmer service as well. These two runs have been on a heavy track, and he just hasn't been out of muster any speed whatsoever, like out of the gates. I think with Blake Shin today on board, who's just ridden the last couple of winners, that he'll bounce him out and he'll be closer, and if he's closer... Boy, oh boy, he might give them something to beat here, this fellow Janub. I think he can be handier. And if he repeats his performance, it was about 12 months ago here on this track with um, James McDonald on board when he really blew them away. He looks well to my eye. Entirely platinum uh, in Melbourne, trying to win away its way into the Caulfield Cup via the naturalism. Number five is Honorius, who's had two runs back this preparation. He's getting to the right trip. Is he ready? Well, he's another one that gets on a better service, which he'll appreciate. Just whether he's up to them, Jace, that's his query. He, he should bounce and put himself there. He looks like perhaps the likely leader, and uh, he, he, um, he'll give a bit of a sight. He looks well. He had residual fitness, had the two runs back, and he's going to get favours on top of the speed, just the quality. Six is a scratching. Seven is criterion. Two-time Group 1 winner. He's won the Rose Hill Guineas, the ATC Derby. He's had two runs back this prep. Well, he was outstanding first up in the uh, the Warwick Stakes. His second up run was awful. Uh, no use to pre uh, no no use painting painting pretty pictures. He didn't put in him when Huey pulled him out, and he had to make that little run. He made a little run, but he was gone. Well, and just as soon as they straightened, he's better than that. Um, he's got to bounce back. I think David's come back for a, an easier grade, saying, "Let's get our confidence back if we can." He needs to. Oh, this one stage, uh, La Armistad was the Caulfield and Melbourne Cup favourite, the three-quarter sister to the mighty Maccabi Diva. Terrific first up in the Rowley Mile, a lot of discussion for a second up run. You've gone back and no doubt watched it time and time again. Definitive thoughts on the last start? She was disappointing. Um, she had a perfect run. Uh, I know that the, the stable like her ridden a little bit quieter and perhaps that will be the case this afternoon. But um, look, she's better than what we've shown. We know that. Um, but she was gone quickly last start. Hugh Bowman come off her back on his your man and really went straight past her. She was beaten comfortably. Um, she was three weeks between runs, second up from the mile to 2,000. Maybe she just wasn't ready for that. She gets a quick backup here, Jay. She's a, a lovely looking mare, and you know, I think they want to get everything back on target this afternoon. And they're off now. La Armistad on the inside jumped out okay. Honorius next to it showing speed and it goes to the lead just after the start. Janub away well. Settled up at a handy spot on the outside. Going to second now. In fact, to shade La Armistad. Uh, then came Criterion followed by Bagman. And Moriarty is last of all. It's only a crawl in the early stages. Honorius taken on by Janub. The rider's going to take the initiative on it. And Janub now goes to the lead from Honorius. He'll hand it up to it. Criterion now trying to take a little bit of closer order on the outside. Moves up to a level second, followed by La Armistad and then Moriarty and Bagman last of all. He'd be about five lengths off the stable mate Janub who shows the way as they run halfway along the back straight. Lees from Criterion and Honorius on the rail. Then La Armistad followed by Moriarty and Bagman who's pulling a little bit at the tail of the field. Janub in front getting away with a slow pace here. Leads by a length and a half. Criterion second. Honorius on the inside as they run to the halfway mark at the next corner with a thousand to go. Moriarty the heavily back favourite, fourth on the outside. He's looking for his second hill stakes in a row and then came back in behind him La Armistad and Bagman last of all. Janub still left alone in front. Leads by three quarters on Criterion and then Honorius is locked up in a pocket on the rail. Moriarty next on the outside. He's two and a half lengths off the lead. La Armistad a little bit awkwardly placed on the rail at the moment and last of all is Bagman. He's going a bit quicker on the lead and now 
about Janub. He's trying to slip a break here, coming towards the home turn. Leads by two on Criterion, Honorius Moriarty. Lahamistad left a little bit flat-footed as they sprinted. And Bagman is back last of all. It's Janub in front. Honorius trying to push off the fence. Criterion out after the leader. Then further back in behind them, Moriarty. Janub's in front with 150 to go. Criterion sets out after, but Janub is still going well. And they're clear from Honorius and then Moriarty. Janub's in front from Criterion. He's pinched this in front, Janub. Well rated. And Janub's too good beat Criterion. Bagman came through in the third. And then Honorius Lahamistad and Moriarty has finished at the back of the field. Well, Blake Shin's on fire this time for the Chris Wallace stable. Number three, Janub, back on top of the ground. That's the key to him. He bounced. He put himself there. He had a nice time in front when Honorius didn't want to leave. And Blake Shin goes three in a row. He's on fire, young Blake, and he's getting the support of the big stables. Three Janub wins, seven Criterion, and perhaps one of the runs we've seen today. He's in dashing form. Number two, Bagman, comes from last to run third. Moriarty, a little bit disappointing. Three, seven, and two, but the run of the race went to the winner and he was too good and confidence is so important isn't it in racing and when Blake Shin he's a confident rider he went forward for some reason and Aureus gave up the lead Jeff Lloyd said you can have the lead and as soon as Blake got to that spot didn't Janub just settle nicely underneath him and Blake was able to dictate the tempo fairway out really got going on them and uh, well he was just too strong and uh, most uh, most interestingly I thought the uh, the pre race interview with Chris Waller Chris was saying that he's got the most upside and he's dead right dry track he really improves today to win and win emphatically